these kids were caught in the middle today. Yeah, some grade school students were forced to walk a gauntlet of screaming protesters just to get to school. CBS 2's Emily Smith has a story now live for us from Lower Manhattan. Emily? Christine Maurice, yes, it started off as a wild day for most everyone here on Wall Street, but especially for these little kids, perhaps, who had to go, you know, shoulder to shoulder through the crowds just to get to class. In the middle of thousands of protesters yelling and chanting, some kicking and screaming, CBS2 found these little school kids trying to get to class. Nervous parents led them through the barriers on Wall Street. NYPD helped funnel the children, anything to ease their fears, while some protesters chanted, follow those kids. These guys are terrorists, yelling at little kids. For them, it's... Um horrible. They're afraid. We're overcrowded. We're not even able to get through. They're just, he's very afraid now. One protester followed a father and his little daughter all the way down the block. Hey, hey, hey. As the school day ended just after three o'clock today, children trickled out of Lamont Manhattan Prep on Broad Street. We heard this four-year-old boy telling his mom he was scared. He told me it looked like a parade. There was a parade. A parade? Yeah. Was it fun or was it scary? A little scary. How come? Because it's too crowded to go to school. It was really crowded? Yeah. After a while, it got so bad that a lot of parents couldn't get their children through, and they had to go to school late today. Some see it as chaos. Others see it differently. I'd say those are some pretty brave kids. School officials tell me they have not had to cancel any classes or the school day yet. We are live from Wall Street. Emily Smith, CBS 2 News. Okay, Emily, thank